Okay, we made it to the beach. It's literally right behind me. We got the surf right behind me. And today, we're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna have a bunch of different baits. I'm gonna show you guys. I have some artificial sandworms, anchovies, squid, shrimp, and also some natural bait sand crabs that we're gonna dig up from the sand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a camera attached to a small leader, to a hook, and then a weight. And then I'm gonna put on different types of baits and they're all gonna be on the same rig. And I'm actually gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. And so there's gonna be 30 minutes of screen time of the camera, underwater camera, checking out what's happening in the surf at the beach right behind us. And I'm gonna alternate the baits, same rig, same time, 30 minutes. I'm gonna to try to cast in the same location every time and see what happens. I'm pretty excited for this one. And right now I'm gonna look for some sand crabs, mole crabs, whatever you wanna call them, right here in the sand. Oh! Got one though, tiny one. I feel like a kid, look. Look at these kids over here just digging for them just like me. Look at that. <laughs> like a big old kid just over here digging up these, these sand crabs, these mole crabs. All right, look, I caught a bunch of sand crabs that I dug up from the sand at first. And now I have a bag, drop one, digs right back into the sand. Now I have my bag of bait. I have some shrimp, some squid, and some anchovies in there. Let's go and open that up. All right, so check this out. We're gonna have some shrimp, an anchovy, some squid, some sandworms, artificial sandworms, and then a bunch of sand crabs that I've harvested on the beach, and they're all live. They're all small, but they should work for perch, and that's pretty much what we're going after today and what we should see the most of. They're pretty much the most abundant here on the west coast of California um, in the surf. First things first, we have a perch favorite. They love these sand crabs, so I put five of them on a single hook. You can see that once we hit the water, you can notice how rough it is and how strong the current is, which is blowing all of the sand and debris, which makes it actually very, very difficult to film. You'll see that there's actually a lot of perch that are gonna come into frame, potentially interested in taking a closer look at the bait. And look at this here, there seems to be something crawling in the sand toward the bait. And what I found out later is that it could potentially be a baby Dungeness crab, as you can see here. All right, about ready to toss this out on my camera to the gulp sandworm. There looks like a hole right here where the water is a little calmer and it seems to be a little deeper compared to other areas. And I'm gonna just toss this out half an hour. I don't plan on keeping any of these fish that I catch today because I'm on my bike. So but yeah, we'll see. Perfect. Hit that little trough that I wanted to hit. Set my timer, half an hour. What blows my mind is how fast these fish can actually change direction, even in the surf with such a strong current. This fish literally takes a 180 degree turn in a blink of an eye.
gulp sandworm definitely got a lot of interest from perch but what was really surprising to me was this check this out now the sandworm gets pulled right over the sandbar here but just watch what happens next a big fish comes and picks it up and it's taking off right now and now we get to see it's a nice sized striped bass All right, just got a bite on camera. Uh, well, hopefully on camera. It was uh, looked like a nice one. I don't really care that I didn't, didn't land it because I'm not trying to keep these fish anyway. I'm, I'm actually surprised it, it took it because this is not a traditional perch rig. It definitely took the sandworm. This is a plus one right now. And it's probably a, a good sized perch. But yeah, man, pretty cool, pretty cool. This is a drop shot, so I didn't, I didn't think they would hit it like that, but that one did. That one did. I forgot to mention, this is, uh, I'm fishing the low tide right now. Well, it's going to be low tide in two hours. So it's outgoing right now. Hasn't even peaked yet. But yeah, let's, uh, let's keep doing this. Should be fun. Should be fun seeing what's on this. Next up, a piece of shrimp rig just like that. For the shrimp, it immediately gets hit. And with shrimp, I've had a lot of success with using shrimp as bait for catching perch. And you can see that it's drawing a lot of interest from these perch in the surf. And the shrimp either got pulled off or pecked off by a fish, but it left an empty hook. And once that hook was empty, I saw no other fish come and check this bait out at all. Even after 10 plus minutes of this underwater camera being down there. And next we have is this anchovy head. And I wish I could show you more footage with the anchovy as bait, but I only saw a few fish fly by. Didn't look like they were that interested in the bait, which is surprising to me because perch actually hit lures that mimic bait fish. All right, last but not least, we have some squid. And if you know perch, they don't really bite squid. And so I'm gonna throw this out there and see how they react to this. By the way, for, for these hooks, I'm using something bigger than what I would use if I would normally target perch. If I want to target perch, I'd use like a size four hook or something like that. These are gonna be bigger because I don't really care about hooking them. All I really care is seeing how they react to the bait. And for squid, which is not really a surf perch favorite, I only saw a few fish fly by. All right, so that is gonna conclude this experiment out here in the surf on the beach. 30 minutes per bait, shrimp again, Berkeley gulp, sandworms, squid, live sand crabs that I dug up right here on the beach, and anchovies. So a bunch of different baits throughout there to see how these fish in the surf react to the bait. And I guess now you guys have already seen it. I haven't seen it yet, but I've always been super fascinated by how I could just look out there and you don't really think that there's a lot of fish in the water, but there's so much life. There's so much life in these waters. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. That concludes it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace guys. After looking at the underwater footage, it made me really want to get out there on the surf. So today, I'm going to take Gene out. Hey. And we're going to go fish in the surf and try to get her on her first fish out there on the surf.
let's go. After seeing that underwater footage, uh, it's got me wanting to catch some stripers or maybe some perch. So I'm out here on the beach. I got this one rod with me, uh, Castmaster ounce and a half. I'm gonna try to hit a striper. I got Jean with me. I'm gonna set her up with, with a sand crab and see if we can hook into something. Woo, let's go. Check this out, I got a bunch of sand crabs in my hand now. And look, they're all molting. A bunch of them are molting right now. You see this one? Its shell is pretty much halfway off. I could literally just pop off that shell right there and it's a fresh sand crab, live sand crab right there. There's a bunch of them right now and these perch love them. Love them, love them. All right, let's hit it. One and a half ounce cast master right here. Let's see what we can pull up from here. Hungry striper anywhere. It looks like Gene got something on the sand crabs. Super fast. Oh, maybe, we'll see. Tired. You're tired? <laughs> not. Yeah, it doesn't really look cool. Oh, there it is! Oh, a red tail. That's a fat red tail. Choked it. That's a nice red tail. That's a nice red tail. Nice red tail surf perch right here not bad it's pretty good red tails are, are amazingly tasty on the sand crabs hey there you go there we go literally took the sand crabs within within what was that like one minute less than a minute huh a minute after casting out the the sand crabs i'll probably cast to the left of you actually maybe i'll cast another bite kind of look like it there yep that's a bite there oh nice got another one on she got another one on probably a perch another perch i saw that that was definitely a bite yeah. those holes are out there i haven't even gotten to i haven't even got my fishing in yet she keeps she keeps catching all these fish is it still on let it go with the waves you don't have to horse it in yep I see it another nice perch corner of the lake great job there it is later nice there it is swim back all right, let's get out to that perch hole again. Perch hole right there, baby. Got Gene over here practicing throwing the cast master. Oh, messed it up on camera. <laughs> anyway, I got I got the sand crab soaking right there behind me. I'm gonna get another perch for sure. But we'll see if Gene catches a, a striper. It's our first time out to surf. First time surf fishing or no? I forgot. I never caught anything. Yeah, her first perch caught ever and that was within... Oh, there's my bite. There it is. I got one. Hope this... They're biting right now. We're, we're four, four. Oh no, it's oh, no. It's okay. I rebaited right here. I know where the perch hole is, dude. I've been four casts and I've been four hits. Big hits, too. Right there, all the way out there, that's the one. That's like the fourth sandbar out there. It's pretty good, man. We're four for four right now. Four casts out and four bites. All of them took the sand crabs. Got one. 
Yep, there it is. There it is. It's another red tail. Another red tail. Oh, we found the red tail hole, baby. We found the red tail hole. Other way, other way, other way. There it is. There it is. Later. Later. Woo! Go right back down into the surf. Let's go. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys found that both informative and entertaining. And if you like underwater footage, then you might like this project that I'm working on next, where we actually go out on a cliff and go for some rockfish. So let me show you guys a little sneak peek of that right now. Oh yeah, it's black. It's a black. The water is so clear, you could see it in the water. It's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm using my phone right now to record, but I was using my camera during that shoot. And some of you guys might know that it led to a broken lens. It got super windy that day and it actually blew my tripod down, unfortunately. But with the help of some of you guys, I'm actually back on my feet. I ordered that lens. It should be coming sometime later this week. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for helping me out. And I really, really want to give a big shout out to some of these guys here. So thank you to Raymond Wong, Matt, Wadi, Harris Liu, Kenneth H, Taku, AKA Outdoor Chef Life, June, AKA More Than Fishing, Ken F, Paolo Gasper, Dave Carter, Victor, Omar Medina, Tuan Fan, Chris C, Emmanuel Estrada, Susie, Mabel, EJ, Joe Hoddle, PD Cobb One, Jersey City, VMAC, Stephen Tong, and Boone. Thank you all so much. You guys really, really helped me. And can't wait to keep making footage for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned because I'll be working on that next project.